is Miss Erin, and I am coming to you live from the children's office in the Mount Airy Library. Hello. Um, so today for our school age fun, I thought I would give you kind of a mini tour of our collections that are available for you to check out without moving from the comfort of my seat and your computer. So um, there's lots of stuff to, to check out. We've got books, music, movies, um, DVDs, games, but I wanted to kind of dive in a little deeper and talk about what those different collections kind of mean. Um, so right now, as you know, our branches are not open to the public except for express pickup. So what that means is that you can put items on hold through our catalog by going on our website or by giving us a call on the phone. Um, and then once you put an item on hold and it comes in for you, you can then go ahead and schedule a time to come and pick it up at whatever branch that you go to. Um, our times for the weekdays, so Monday through Friday are 10 a.m. through noon. 1 p.m. through 3 o'clock and 4 p.m. through 6 o'clock. So any time during those slots, we kind of close down the hours in between so that we can run reports and get the items for the next shift and then also um, sanitize and disinfect the areas um, that we are having materials out for you to pick up. So if you have any questions about that, please give us a call, send us a message on Facebook, um, ask through the website, however you'd like. So, okay, if you know what you want, you can search our catalog by title, or you could look and see through some of the items that we have as far as format. So what I wanted to go through was our different formats. So first one is kind of obvious. It is our chapter book section. So we have a J fiction section, and that just means J is for juvenile. We also call it children's fiction. And um, anything that has a spine label like this, it's from the J fiction section. So it's just your kind of average chapter book. Um, some of the Harry Potters would be here. I know Diary of a Wimpy Kid is here. Um, a lots of really fun like mysteries, science fiction, horror books, kind of anything that you like. So your basic um, chapter books are going to be in the J fiction section. So that's a collection that you could reserve and read. I know a lot of you guys are great readers and there's a lot of books that fly off the shelves in that section. But another one that's kind of separate from, we kind of keep separate from that section, but it's really, really similar is called the J series section. So as you see on the side here, it still has that J for juvenile and then the first four letters of the author's last name, but these are series. So this one happens to be part of the American Girl series, not only just the American Girl series, but the American Girl mystery series, which is pretty cool. And these are chapter books that are in a series. So we have a few Star Wars books, we have Descendants, we have American Girls, 39 Clues. We also have my personal favorite from when I was a kid was the Choose Your Own Adventure books. Has anyone ever read these Choose Your Own Adventure books? Oh my gosh, they're amazing. Um, so basically, if you haven't read one before, you read like the first couple pages. And then when you're reading, you come to a section that says something like this. So this says, turn to the next page. Okay, so we turn to the next page, which is page number two. And it says, turn to page five. Then you go to that page and maybe you will get a question. Like if you want to make this choice, you go to page whatever. If you wanna make that choice, you go to that number page. And so by reading in that way, you get to make your own story. And unlike real life, you could go back and redo your ending. So, so maybe you're like, no, I didn't wanna fall off that cliff. Um, I want to go back. You could totally do that. So those are in the J series section. Okay. Another thing I wanted to mention was if you are a, not quite a beginning reader, but you're still maybe not ready for those full kind of long chapter books, then a great section for you is called our first chapter section. And our first chapter books have that J for juvenile and the four letters of the author's last name. And then we have an orange stripe on top. 
And so we have lots of really great books in that section. The Magic Treehouse books are in that section. I know the Daisy Meadows fairy series are in that section. Um, there is um, a great series called Prin The Princess in Black is in that section. And then we've got a lot of superhero stuff in that section too. So if you are past the beginning reader books, the ones that only have a few words or sentences on one page, but you're not quite ready for those longer, thicker chapter books, then the first chapter book section might be the section for you. So when you're going through their catalog, if you see that, that might be for you. So maybe um, everyone kind of moves at their own speed, but I would say maybe second through fourth grade. So whatever, whatever you fall, um, you could read those. Okay, moving on. Oh, not yet. Did you see one you recognize back here? Dog Man. So Dog Man is actually in a series, in a section all their own because they are part of our graphic novel section. So we call them graphic novels. Sometimes people refer to them as comic books. Both are correct and both are equally as great. Um, but these are books that you read like they're comic books. So they have pictures and words and they're usually told in kind of some kind of panel style. That's what these shapes around the pictures and texts are. Um, that's not to say that you won't find pictures in some of our other books, but the graphic novel section really has, it looks like a straight up comic book. And so if you are looking, if you love comic books, which I totally do, then you might want to look in our graphic novel section. Okay. Now I want to move on from books because you know, and I know, and I know that you know that the library is more than just books, right? The library has lots of stuff. The library has recorded books. So that means that books that you can listen to. And I want to ask you something, something that's a little controversial. Do you think if you listen to a book, does that count as you reading that book? Because I have an answer for you. It totally counts. Totally. It 100% counts. Most of my books I listen to. I listen to them at home while I'm coloring or I'm doing the dishes or I'm mowing the lawn or maybe I just want to sit there and kind of zone out and have someone read a story to me. That totally counts as reading. So we have them in two formats. This one is a book on CD. So if you have a CD player um, in your car or on your computer or an old-fashioned boom box, then you could pop in a CD and listen to books that way. Or we have the playaways. And these are miniature, like little mini one-shot MP3 players. So um, an MP3 player, which, and they didn't last very long. And some of you guys might not know what they are, um, but it's kind of like your phone, um, but you could just listen to music on it. So this is, instead of listening to music, you will listen to a book. So all this needs is a triple A battery and you can hit play, you can fast forward, you can go back to different tracks, you can adjust the volume. And so you can just plug in headphones or if you have a, a phone jack in your car, you could plug it into there and listen through your car speakers or your parents' car speakers. I'm sure you don't have a car yet, hopefully. Um, then you can listen to a play away that way. And I, I highly recommend at least trying that one out. That's really, really fun. Okay, more non-book things is that we have music CDs. So you might download music from online or listen to it through your phone. But if you're on a car ride and you have a CD player, this is a really great thing to just check out. And then you can just return it to the library. So it's totally free. You don't have to worry about downloading anything. Um, or if you think you want to download something and you, you want to pay for it, but you want to give it a shot first, then you could give it a try first by listening to it. There's also DVDs. So we have a lot of streaming um, video choices right now. One of them is Canopy, which is free with your library card on our website. Um, but if you are ready for a good old fashioned DVD, we have lots of those. Um, the ones that have the yellow spine label means they are part of our children's feature DVDs. Um, this one happens to have a lot of spooky stories with, it looks like very familiar characters. So you can check that one out. I know Halloween season's coming and I'm so excited. Okay, are you ready for the last couple of things that I wanna show you? This is maybe 
my favorite thing that we loan out are dun, 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 games. So we have games for a lot of different consoles. We have games for the Wii. This one happens to be the Disney universe, but we have a lot of different ones. We have games that you could check out for Xbox One. Here's a Minecraft one. We have games for the PS4, PlayStation 4. This one happens to be the Ugly Dolls one. And then Friends, only within the last maybe two months, maybe one month. I can't remember. It's very, very recent. We now have Switch games. Yay! So I know that on your Switch, you could download games, but they cost money. And if you aren't sure about a game and you really want to check it out, like literally check it out before buying it, then you could totally borrow it from the library, test it out for a couple, like a couple days, a couple weeks, and then return it to the library. And guess what? We're not charging fines anymore. So you can, you could turn it in. Just make sure you don't have it out too long because people are waiting for it. Um, so you could put any of these items, anything that we talked about today, or if you have any questions about maybe some recommendations that you would like, you're like, man, you know, I love graphic novels, but I don't know what to read anymore. And I just, I mean, I haven't been to the library because you guys have been closed. So I don't even know what's new. Give us a call at whatever branch you go to, and we are happy to put items on hold for you and put them out in our lobby for, re for reserve, and then you guys can come and pick them up. So yay. All right, friends. Thank you so much for joining us today. We will see you next time. Bye.